This is Zack, a high school teenager who lives with his parents. He believes that the pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life. He blames his parents for not providing him with a luxurious lifestyle and blames God for his poor luck. After a long night of partying and drinking alcohol with friends, he wakes up late in the morning and sees that the house is uncannily silent. He gets ready quickly and heads downstairs for breakfast. He doesn't find his parents, so he pulls out his phone to make a call to his mother. His mother doesn't answer, so he tries to call his father and a few other friends. No response again. This is starting to worry Zack. He goes out for a walk and again sees no sign of humans. However, everything else remained the same. The billboards were playing ads, the traffic lights transitioned as usual, and the local marketplace was open. Cars were where their now vanished owners parked them, and gas for these cars was plentiful at the now unattended gas stations. Zack starts to collect himself as he tries to make sense of this new reality. Many thoughts cross his mind as to what might have happened. Is it a natural disaster? Is it an alien attack? But none of these explain why everything else looks so normal except for the humans. Another thought crosses his mind. He can now get the best food, live in luxury resorts, and drive in expensive cars as there is no one to stop him or ask him for money. Zack starts to get excited because in this new reality, he will now be able to live his dream luxurious life which he always craved for. So Zack goes to the nearest supercar showroom and gets into the most expensive car. He drives it to the most expensive restaurant in town and to his surprise, all the dishes were ready and the buffet was set up. From the most expensive seafood, to the finest of steaks, to the rarest of cheese, they had everything. After finishing his lunch, he goes to luxury brand stores and equips himself with an expensive watch, branded clothes and covers himself with gold and diamond chains. And finally, he drives to the most luxurious mansion to stay for the night. It has expensive furniture, automated lighting, exquisite antiques, enormous swimming pool, a bar, a gym, a big theater, and everything else that Zack could imagine. That night, Zack couldn't sleep because he was so excited about his new luxurious life. He plans to spend every day like this as long as it lasts. And next morning, he goes out again into the world to indulge himself in the most luxurious experiences. Another day, another day, another day doing the same thing. But for how long can a man enjoy these luxuries by himself? After a month of indulging himself in luxury, the excitement starts to wear off. The 11 bedroom mansion which was once a dream has now started to become uncomfortable. Finding misplaced things in this enormous space was nearly impossible. Wearing the diamond chains and bracelets did not excite him anymore. Having many expensive cars did not mean anything. He realizes that no matter how much you have, you can only sleep in one room and drive one car. Zack wonders, without anyone else to impress, why own an expensive car, a palace or fancy clothes and jewelry. He understands that comfort is better than luxury. He changes into simple clothing and finds a place that's small but easy to maintain rather than expensive. After a few days of living with this adapted lifestyle, he realizes that this is what makes him happy and peaceful. He realizes how deluded he was by the lure of luxury before and commits to stick to this lifestyle in the time to come. He also misses his parents and realizes that having loving people around you is much more important than luxuries. Zack is now a changed man. Zack, wake up son. It's time to go to college. You're getting late and the breakfast is ready. Zack hears his mom calling. Zack wakes up in a shaky manner, sees his mother and realizes that this was all a dream. 
Zack suddenly jumps out of his bed, hugs his mom and says, I love you mom. He immediately goes downstairs and tells his dad, thanks for everything that you do for me dad. And after having the breakfast made by his mom, he happily acknowledges that this is one of the best meals that he could have asked for. He gets ready and happily goes to college in the old car he owned, understanding that sitting in this car doesn't really feel all that different from sitting in an expensive one. Zack's dream helped him realize that he should find happiness in the things that he already has instead of craving for more, and that no amount of luxury could replace the value of human connection. Thank you.